President Trump. <laughs> While he's embroiled in impeachment and foreign scandals, it's nice to see that the commander in chief will take time out of uh, all of these important issues to deal with stuff like this. We have a situation where we're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where uh, you turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water, where the water rushes out to sea because you could never handle it, and you don't get any water. You turn on the faucet, you don't get any water. They take a shower and water comes dripping out, just dripping out, very quietly dripping out. People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. They end up using more water. So EPA is looking at that very strongly, at my suggestion. Okay, is it just me? Or does it seem like someone took a dump in the Oval Office <laughs> that didn't flush, and now they're trying to blame it on America's water systems? <laughs> just feels like that. Mike, the EPA clogged the toilet again! <laughs> And also, can we acknowledge that of all the presidents, Trump has the most unpredictable schedule of all time. <laughs> Think about, like, a day in the life of one of his aides in the Oval Office, just like, uh, okay, sir, at 9 a.m., we'll be discussing Afghanistan, 10 is impeachment, and then at 12, you'll be discussing, uh, clogged toilets? <laughs> Trump's like, great, cancel everything after toilets. I have a lot of opinions. <laughs> By the way, did you see what Eric did in the Oval Office? <laughs> But, okay, but if I'm completely honest, if I'm completely honest, right, whether you like Trump or not, you have to admit this is an issue where we can agree with him. Like, I can say for a fact that America has a lot of low self-esteem toilets that don't flush <laughs> with conviction. Yeah, I've, I've experienced this a lot in this country, I won't lie. Like, you go to flush, and then the toilet's just like, meh. <laughs> and you're like, no, flush. He's like, yeah, I'm trying. <laughs> because you have to admit it, we've all had that moment where the flush doesn't work, the worst is when you're at someone else's house and it doesn't what? <laughs> yeah? It doesn't flush. That's so, right. So now you're waiting for the tank to fill up again and then you try again, hoping that they don't notice how long you've been gone. <laughs> the worst is when you know when you're flushing and the turd is just like swirling around the bowl, like... <laughs> I ain't going nowhere. I ain't going nowhere. <laughs> I'm just saying, if Trump can solve that problem, he's getting four more years. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> That's a big problem. It's also crazy how Trump had so much more emotion talking about toilets than he does about most tragedies. Like, he was in that. You know, it's just like, the world falling down, so powerful. <laughs> in fact, it was so intense that we decided to produce it off-Broadway. We have a situation where we're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms. There's so little water comes out of the faucet. People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. They take a shower and water comes dripping out. It's dripping out, very quietly dripping out. In many states where they have so much water that it comes down, it's called rain. 